In this tutorial, we're going to talk about three different methods for private company valuation. Private companies can be challenging to value for a couple of reasons. First of all, they don't have public share prices. Additionally, private companies don't have to follow the same reporting standards and disclosure that public companies are governed by. This makes it more challenging to find information on them. Nonetheless, there are some methods we can use. The three are comparable company analysis, precedent transactions, and discounted cash flow analysis. Let's look at each of these three in more detail. Comparable company analysis is a method of looking at trading multiples for public companies that are similar to the company that's trying to be valued. It's important to note though that there is a liquidity premium that's placed on public companies and therefore a liquidity discount has to be applied to a private company. Because it's harder to sell a private company, it would not be valued as highly as a public company that's similar. But the process to make one of these comps tables is to identify firms that have similar businesses to the one you're trying to value. Two, collect their financial information and calculate their trading multiples and compute an average. Then take that average and apply it to the financial metrics for the firm you're trying to value. For example, if the average EV to EBITDA in the industry is 13 times, you would then apply a private company liquidity discount, say take it down to 10 times, and multiply the firm's EBITDA that you're trying to value by 10, as an example. Now let's look at precedent transactions. Precedents are also a relative form of valuation, meaning we're looking at other companies, and we're looking at what they were acquired for what was paid to buy the entire business. So it includes a takeover premium, which might actually make it a higher valuation than a regular public company comparable. It's important to note that precedent transactions, since they took place in the past, can become stale dated if they're several years old. You follow the same steps as you did with comparable company analysis to look at precedent transactions. The third approach is discounted cash flow analysis. Using the DCF method, it's a form of intrinsic valuation, meaning you don't look at what any other company is worth. Instead, you forecast the company's financial performance into the future. The projections will include several things like revenue, operating expenses, capital costs, etc., and the calculation of free cash flow to the firm. From there, cash flow can be discounted using the firm's weighted average cost of capital. The formula for free cash flow to the firm is shown below and covered in many of our other tutorials. Finally, putting it all together, it's important to show a range of values for a private company. Here we've shown comparable companies, precedent transactions, and two different discounted cash flow models on a chart. It's important to highlight that valuation is more of an art than a science. Therefore, we always present a range of values for a business since it's extremely hard to pinpoint one value when so many assumptions have to be made about the future. Hopefully this has shed some light on private company valuation methods.